9,998. You want to try that again? 9,988 followers. Wow. We have 34. All right. <laughs> Giggity. Giggity. Tom Brady injures throwing hand ahead of AFC Championship. Ugh. Is that true? I heard something. Good. Fuck them. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot you were a Patriots fan. Did you see that Saints game? No, oh, no, but I, I obviously I heard about God. it. Dude, first of all, after this, YouTube Bill Burr's reaction to the Saints game. Oh, really? It's he, I was listening, it was on his podcast. He was actually listening to his whole podcast. He's list, as he's doing the podcast, much like when we were watching the Ranger game. Yeah, yeah. Um he's like, Fuck, god damn it. And uh <laughs> then and he just he's as he's in the middle of a podcast, he's in the middle of doing like a live read for an ad, and he just goes, God son of a bitch, and he's just cursing it. It's fucking classic. <laughs> What episode is this? This is episode 18. All right. Uh-oh. Oh. We can vote. Yes, and we're legal in most states. Yes, and we're allowed to be in porn. Yes, and we could serve liquor, but we can't drink it. Yeah, that's weird. You can go out, serve, and die for your country, but you can't have a little bit of uh, hops and barley. Or malt. Is, that a thing? is it malt? No, isn't it? Isn't beer just hops and barley? Well, liquor has malt in it. Liquor? I didn't malt even know liquor. it. Hey, oh, well. uh, so I guess we're ready to begin? Why not? All what right. are we waiting for? Episode 18 of The Better Half is here. I'm Frank, the married guy. I'm Larry, the very single guy. Still very single That's guy. That's right. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, is there something on the horizon? Um, I'm not saying something on the horizon, but... Uh, In the future? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Uh, you know. All right. Well, I won't... I won't. Well, I mean, I, I mean, as a good reporter, journalist, podcaster, I should bring it up. But I don't want to jinx it, so yeah, well. maybe we'll wait till the next episode. That's good. Te- or the called, next live episode. That's a teaser, folks. Yeah. Maybe we'll, and we'll, once you can talk off air, you can because I didn't even know about it. So <laughs> this is good stuff. All right, I'm just saying things. I don't know. Happy New Year! It's 2018. Yeah. Yes, I think we've already done a Happy New Year. No, we were still in December. I think so. When we did the live episode, I think so. Yes, because it was the 29th. That's because right. We had the blizzard the next Happy day. Happy New Year. Happy New Happy Year, New Year everyone. to everybody. Happy 2018. <laughs> wow. You like that? Wow. <laughs> I, I, brought, I brought a, uh, I brought a uh, noisemaker. Quite impressive. <laughs> I think you can put that one away. Wow. Wow. What was that one? Wow. Do you remember in uh, Air, was it Airplane 2? Terrible. Airplane 2, when they, the, they were trying to open up the doors in the, uh, the shuttle, they would go, shh. Oh, that's how the door's open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> lost the bleeps, I lost the sweeps, and I lost the creeps. She's the what, shaking. The what? The what? She's yeah. shimmying. She's cracking up. <laughs> now we're going uh, two different movies. Yes, I know. Let's, I told, what? For a moment, let's talk about the live episode. Yes, I, that yes, was coming off the heels of the live episode. Honestly, um, last week's podcast was the live episode, yes. but we were 100% fully live. Uh, fully uh, unprepared. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it was an experiment... In how two human beings can panic in front of the entire world. But we succeeded. No, I don't think we panicked. We succeeded. No, I, we... I think, first of all, look, we went, I think that was the longest show to date. It was almost, almost two, two hours. hours. And we actually had a lot of uh, followers. We had a lot of views. Um, and I think it was a great success, as my good friend Borat uh, would say. I know Borat personally back when we used to... Um, used to shimmy and shake? Play football together. The football. Yeah, not not that you know American football. You know. No, soccer. Soccer, well, football, yeah, back in Kerplakistan, <laughs> um, in Mother Russia. Uh, the uh, yeah, no, the the live episode we did it on. I mean, just again, it, it was kind of an experiment. Uh, we didn't do it on the better half page. We will next time. We did it on on my page just to kind of get it out there. To right, try it, it. it was a. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. It was a it was a test, but I believe it was a successful test. Absolutely. So the next time we do it, which we're thinking about doing it maybe once a month, which would be every other episode, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm um, thinking maybe like once every other month or something like that. Or uh, it'll we're gonna do we're gonna well, maybe pop just up. when we feel it. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. And uh, I've already decided that my desk is going to be major a major prop zone. So uh, yeah. Yeah. And that's if we do it at Studio B. If we do it here, I really need. To, uh, I think we should stick to Studio B. I Although, to, well, we, <laughs> I got yelled at because apparently we were really loud, and my daughter had to sleep in my bedroom. When I came up from the basement that night after you left, um, and I started putting everything away, and I came back up, and 
uh, I went to get in bed and there was a small person in my bed. <laughs> and I'm like, she's like, and you, my wife goes, you idiots were really loud. So Juliana's in bed with us. So I'm like, all right. So I picked her up yeah. and she I forgot heavy she's sleeper? eight. What? She a heavy sleeper? Eh, not really. Oh, okay. So I kind of, she kind of latched on to me and she's eight years old yeah. and she's not light. Um, and I was like, by the time I got to her room, her feet were like dragging across the ground. <laughs> I'm like, come on, move, go, go to bed. Um, and then, of course, when I got into bed, she's like, what the hell? And I'm like, what? She goes, you guys were loud. I go, yeah, well, it's a podcast. We were live. You defended the podcast? Of course I defended the podcast. <laughs> then I said I was sorry. And I tried to touch her and she <laughs> rolled over. Um, so that was that. Was that. Um, I'm, I'm happy you defended the podcast. I just would have figured you'd be like, oh, sorry, we'll be quiet next no, time. No, no, I did. I mean, I did that. But no, I was no. like, I was like, what? what do you, I mean, look, I go, what? It's once a month. I was like, I said, that's what I said. We're creating. I said, well, I said, look, I said, do you want me to be a mailman forever? <laughs> okay. I need this to be successful. And I, then I told her that her cousin logged on and, and he's, she's like, oh, really? And then, then like, she kind of got interested for about 30 seconds. She got interested. And then all of a sudden it was just like, oh, that's good. That's good. That's <laughs> My wife could be in the middle of a sentence and fall asleep, snoring, <laughs> in bed. Like, if she's laying down in bed, yeah. put it this way, like, 11 o'clock, she's like, can you turn the news on now? I hate watching the news. Yeah, right. Because it's, it's depressing, yeah. you know? I mean, it's, well, lately it's comical, um, <laughs> but it's also depressing. And um, by 11.07, she's out. Wow. So then I just put on, I just put on whatever I was watching originally. Yeah. But um, live show, I believe, was a success. We had about... At one point, I think we had like 12 people watching. But Which we is good. Also, it was all our friends, but we knew. But overall, we had like a couple hundred views. Yeah, people were watching it. People were still commenting afterwards. Yes. Because I think some people watch thinking it's live, even after right, it's done. Right, right. Well, because it stops, stays, yeah. stays So up they'll still your... comment because you can, you, when you watch it, I think when you watch it, the comments come up in real time. Yes. So it do. is like watching it live. As you saw from me saying hello to everyone who joined. That, <laughs> we got to work out some kinks. Let's be honest. Um, you know, we don't need to say hi to everyone who comes on. We appreciate everyone who's there. Uh, and we will work the, the, the microphone situation. Uh, one of us was really kind of lower than the other. The other one was extremely loud and reverberated at times. But that's okay. Yeah, We're learning. My, my mic was not, uh, not We're learning. Was less gooder. That's not a problem. We'll get there. Uh, but, like I said, good stuff. We're definitely going to do it in the future. So uh, definitely follow us. Do a search for the Better Half podcast on Facebook. Because that's where these live uh, streams will be. And you never know. Sometimes we'll let you know in advance. Sometimes it may just pop up. We are shutting down the phone number for now because that just well, is not working. Well, we're shutting it down because... For now. We, for now. Because we want to work out the bugs. That also, I mean, but, I mean, look, there was also... The, there's the issue of uh, our uh, master prank caller. But still haven't figured out who that um, is. Hmm? I still haven't figured out who that is. No, no one, no one I think is going to tell us. <laughs> no. But I think um, the other thing is... Uh, the connection's not 100%, and it has to do with the app. But uh, we'll figure that out. We'll um, get there. Um, so we'll bring it back eventually. Maybe um, we'll create like a like a Skype number. We'll see, maybe. Because you can Skype audio. We don't have to look at people. Right. I don't... I mean, if Who we could Skype gonna... each other, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, but next time, we got to keep your pants on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have much going on this week, so we're just going to be bantering a yeah, little bit back be and a forth. Bit banter. It's been a rough week. Uh, well, I mean, after the, the oh, after the our last recording, we had a major blizzard here in Long Island, New York, yeah. in the tri-state area. That was a good um, day off for you. I actually didn't go to work the next day, so screw that motto: um, sleet, rain, snow. Well, uh, I didn't get mail for about five days. Well, so, the post office sucks. Yeah, I mean, and everything was cleared, uh, clear enough to walk. Yeah, well, eventually. What happened was at my job, um, I my what happened was that actually that night, my wife was sick, um, which doesn't mean why she was pissed off at me because we were so loud. <laughs> um, and then it didn't start snowing until about, what, like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Something like that. Um, but by the time I woke up for work at 6 o'clock, there was already like 6 inches on the ground. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm going to make the attempt to go into work. Um even though I know they're going to tell us eventually to not deliver mail, uh, because I know how it is with Long Island blizzards, so my wife gets up and she's like, "I I can't even move." Wow. She was like deathly sick. Mm. So and now the kids have no school because they closed the schools. So I'm like, "Crap!" 
what am I going to do? I have to call in. Now, of course, it's going to look like I'm being a big puss because of, of the snow. But, I mean, at one point, I thought I was going to take her to the ER. Wow. Uh, yeah, she was, she wow. was like, deathly ill. She had, um, she started off with an ear infection. And she thought she had strep. She's still not over it. It's, what, two weeks later? Oh, wow. Yeah, and she's just, like, at the tail end of it now. Uh, she thought she had strep, which, I mean, then I was like, all right, you're quarantined. You know, you're going in the basement. You know, I locked her in there. Like, you know, I was like, I'll throw down food to her every now and then. Like, like butter, Evil Dead. Yeah, yeah. She was the, the wife under the stairs. You know, so um, um, so she was deathly ill. So I'm now stuck in the house with two kids. Um, called my boss. I'm like, look, I'm trying to get a babysitter. If I can get a sitter, I'll, I'll get in. That's not happening. I couldn't get anybody. So I didn't go in. Um, the next day, uh, I caught, you know... Oh my god, the the ra- the ripping that I got because apparently <laughs> only like eight people didn't show up to work, you know. Oh wow, as a big office. Yeah. But during the storm, they made the carriers load up their trucks. Mm-hmm. Okay, in a, a parking lot that mind you did not get plowed till Saturday, so this was Thursday. Oh, made, made them made them load up their trucks, go out to their routes. Half of them couldn't even make it to their routes, and then once the governor Cuomo called the state of emergency, called everybody back, made them. Unload their trucks, bring really? all the mail back in, put up the mail in the case, and stay there till about three thirty. Now I'd work hmm. twelve miles from work. I live twelve miles. Oh, from really? Work. That's it? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Door to door, yeah, yeah, twelve yeah. miles. Yeah. Now I'm not going to drive twelve miles in a goddamn blizzard, risking my life for that. Yeah, and then stay there till three thirty when the snow just keeps piling up, and then come back, and you know, for another twelve miles. No, so I, I, I look. I'm glad my, and I'm not glad my wife was sick, but. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm glad I didn't go in. The next day, though, the next two days was, oh, my God, it was ice fucking cold. Um, oh, no, man. Yeah, it was. That, that that chill hit. I had the I had the heat down here in, in, in my apartment up to about 80 just to make sure nothing freezes down here. Yeah. Because so, I do have a, a bit of a draft over here where the, uh, where the AC well, it's is. Not but, that, I don't feel it. I mean, No, no, it's not bad, but it is a little something. Uh, I just happened to be off that day. I, I put in for that blizzard, that day of the blizzard. I put in for it months ago. Uh, because I uh, actually that that was such a long day. For, I was up twenty six hours that that's, night. That's crazy. Because we recorded the night before was our live show, right? Um, it was nuts. Because basically, how I, I woke nuts. up at like five o'clock in the morning for work, went to work, then came home for a little bit. We did the live stream. Then I came home again. I had to edit uh, the Yin and the Yang podcast. So that took me a little while. But the whole reason why I took off the, that Thursday, the day of the blizzard, again, before knowing there was a blizzard, is um, I was going to be up to watch live at 2 a.m. a live wrestling pay-per-view in Tokyo, Japan. So I needed to, I wanted to make sure you I was ready. in Tokyo? Hey, everybody, thanks a lot for coming. Tip your waitresses. Have the veal. <laughs> No, but I had to uh, join a um, basically like the WWE Network, right. for, if you will. Of uh, it's called New Japan Pro Wrestling, and what happens is you join up, but the confirmation email you get is completely in Japanese. Rut row. So trying to figure out how to cancel when you're done, a little bit of a toughie. No, do the <laughs> and nine hundred ninety nine yen comes out to about nine dollars and eleven cents, which I found weird. That is weird. Sorry, your calendar is distracting me. Oh, my SoCal Val calendar? Oh, my God. That's signed. Bad. It's signed every month. She signs every month. And in March, she gave me a happy birthday. Yeah, that's a great tush. <laughs> yeah, I'm an, I am an ass. Sorry. Yeah. Larry, another, has, that's uh, rest, another wrestler. La- Larry has a... Uh, uh, ca- another thing I can't hang in my house. Um, <laughs> Larry has You a, see the posters in my bedroom. I don't want to because they're probably sticky. What? Um, <laughs> oh, come uh, on. Why? My Did bedroom. I, uh, that's why I have a computer over here. Uh, oh, oh. So the poster is of a, a, a Soul Cal Soul Val. Cal Val. If you're into I mean, wrestling, she was in TNA. She was, I think she did a, a stint in ROH. She is wearing a black tank top with a black thong, and she's facing away from us. And my lord, goodness gracious, goodness I'm gracious, me. the vapors. Oh boy, Whew. lordy lord. So then uh, Monday, uh, sa- uh, wait, fr- I wasn't done. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. This is we need to work on this. Go on. So I was up 26 hours. Technically, I wasn't done, but go ahead. Where did, I'm confused now. Where do we leave off? Finish, then I'll continue. Okay. So I was up about 26 hours, 
watching it. I was dozing off the paper. I tried my best to stay awake for that pay per view. It was good. Don't get me wrong. The pay per view was fantastic, but I was just struggling. So then, because this is all leading into the the blizzard. Um, finally, this is the night of this is th- that night. Okay, two a.m. Okay. Blizzard morning gotcha. is when the pay per view went live. Gotcha. Here. Gotcha. So, show ended at like eight o'clock, eight a.m. Done. Like I said, I was already off. I'm going to sleep. And for the first time in a long time, granted, I was literally up about 26 hours. I slept till about 1.30 in the afternoon, which was a joy. So I wake up. I don't even know what that is. And I'm like... I hate you. No, I normally don't I normally don't sleep past 9, even on days off. I'm up at the crack of dawn. And then she has to leave the apartment. All right. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> so, wow. so I wake up about 1.30. Uh kind of get my bearings <laughs> about three o'clock i figured you know what let me go outside and do a little shovel make sure my my car's ready to go for the next morning not realizing how much snow there was because there's no w- one window here but i keep it closed because i don't want anyone looking in right so i open up that front door now to give people a picture i have a set of stairs that comes down and then into the apartment you're in a basement so of course that's completely covered in snow how'd you you had to like climb your way out well guess where the shovel is out by the trash cans. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So why and not it, keep it in the vestibule? Well, here? now I do, and it's just a regular dirt shovel. You're stupid. I don't even have like a snow shovel. Oh God, Larry. So I climb I know out. I'm getting you for Christmas next year. Literally climb out over the snow. I get outside, and the block. Everyone works as a team when it snows around here. I hate this block though. Everyone gets out here, except for the big house on the corner. Oh, with the the, uh, the horse. With yeah, the horse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that house. Oh, is he? I, I he looks know. like it. He looks like it. So uh, people are out there with snow shovels, snow blowers. Everyone's helping. Everyone's pitching he in. He probably walks to the other side of the dead end with that and parks <laughs> his cars over there. Probably. Prick. Um, landlord know. came over, he actually, because he has a plow on a truck, plows Mr. the, the plow. block. I get outside. I'm, like, rubbing my eyes. I'm, like, stretching. I'm like, hey, everyone, what's up? Everyone's pretty much done shoveling. And I'm walking out there going... How's everyone doing? He's got to brush a little snow off my car. Excuse me for a moment. And you pushed it right into the street, I bet. For, of course you do. No, you don't. You're one of those douchebags who puts all no, this snow no, in No, 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 no. It's not a douchebag move. You put it in the middle of the road. No. So you... that way, the cars run oh over it, God. crushes it, Mr. and eventually it will go away. No, no. That is the most dangerous thing in the world. What are you talking the about? The sanitation tells you not to do that. You're we not... know people who work for sanitation. I ain't taking their word for it. Okay. Trust me on this. Okay. You do not. It's a, first of all, it's against the law. First of all, to where sh- is it? A, where show me the Google regulation. That shit. Google it. Okay, it is, it is it, okay. If it's not against the law, it's definitely frowned upon. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's against the law in New York State because what happens is when it, when the cars crush it and then it gets colder, it turns to ice and becomes a sheet of black ice. So your car will slide. Plus. The plows are gonna fucking push it right back into your driveway. Anyway. Yeah, but when it's out there and it's and the cars run it over like you, you, and it's spread out over the street, no. the sun will start to melt. You're it. wrong. Just like you're wrong about tipping on a credit card. Don't okay. even start Don't, on I'm that. Sorry. Don't even this start on that. It's 2018. Debate. Now, guess, guess what? what? Bitcoin. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna tip people in Bitcoin. Guess what? Now we could put. We could. Okay. Now that we have, uh, um, uh, uh, we could do polls on. Oh, yeah, on on, on our page, That's I'm right. going to put one up right wow, we're now. putting it up right now. Look at this, I'm folks. I'm doing it right now. Have you figured out how to put more than two answers, though? Uh, I think it's just add an option. Meanwhile, yeah. somebody just liked every single picture on the, uh, on our uh, yeah, baby. on our page. Um, she's married. Illegal? She's right up your alley. <laughs> sorry. That was wrong. I'm sorry. Listen, I've, I, listen, a ring don't mean a thing. All right. Ring dings. Ring ding 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 ding. I've had relations with a married woman. Uh, okay, well, okay. I don't see how to make a poll here. Tag a product. Stupid poll. <laughs> what? You're looking it up. I'm right, aren't I? No, no. I'm just thinking of jokes about polls. Is it illegal to I heard throw... a, actually, I heard, I heard a funny joke about uh, why, Trump, why, why Trump is watching the... Uh, why, the only reason why Trump is watching the Olympics? Why? To see how high the Mexican pole vault is going to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay. They're very high. <laughs> I don't see how you could do a poll here. But anyway, we're going to figure it out. And we're going to do a poll on how to do uh, on, on is it is it stupid or illegal? How do, where do you put your snow? Up your ass or in the street? Wait, are we doing that one or are we doing a tip one? No, we're doing both. 
No, oh, I think you should do only one at a time. Well, no, well, we'll do one at a time, but I'm doing, it's my, it's, I'll do it in my order. Let's see. Don't be a jerk. All right. Anyway, um, so, okay, so are you finished? Or are you... Uh, the plowsite.com. I don't really don't trust okay, them. Yeah, yeah. That's that. so. I don't know gay. gay uh... <laughs> I almost stole that from another podcast, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> um, well, in any event. So anyway, so then, um, so so that was that was Thursday with the, yeah. obviously the storm. Uh, Friday, I go to work. I froze my penis off. Was Friday like st- the six degree day? Six degrees might felt like minus four. Yes, delivered the mail, delivered the whole route. You know, they were like, just get back before six, don't die. Basically, <laughs> Saturday. Oh, it's a now it's the thirtieth. You know, got mm-hmm. New Year's Eve the next day. You know, um, we have a new supervisor at my job. Not a nice woman. No, uh, no. <clears throat> that's loud on the mic. Um, th- and that's mine. Hey, 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 hey! I, I'm trying to get the nuts. That's that's what she said. That's my. That's I, my. Look at that. That's nothing. What is that? It's you like it. Sweet and salty. Anywho, so we have a new new. Uh, uh, um, you're really pissing me off. Okay, <laughs> you're making my OCD twitch. <laughs> okay, so. My mail truck, and I've posted this cursing a few times. Uh, my mail truck, the windshield wipers broke. A couple of, actually, a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so on the days that it rains, because um, on the days that it rains, they give me another truck mm-hmm. because they're idiots and they don't want to get the truck fixed. <coughs> Are you done? This is why you're not allowed to eat on the podcast, you schmuck face. Okay, you done? Yes, I'm done. You're dying? Do you need water? I'm fine. Okay, is that a gray hair on your? Shirt. Where? It's a long hair. Where? Whose is it? Not yours. Where? Right there. Up here? Yeah, it is yours. Is it a boob hair? It's not. No. It's... Yeah, it's my. Look at this head of hair. Yeah, you have a frothy head of hair. I got started going gray in the seventh grade. <laughs> it's creepy. Anyway, so uh, this has nothing to do with being married single, but I'm going to tell it anyway. So my truck, a couple days earlier, before the storm, goes in for repair to finally get the windshield wipers clean, uh, fixed. <laughs> so Saturday. I get my truck back from the from the mechanic. So you have your own truck. I have That's my, my route to you. has a truck. Okay. 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 Every route has their own truck. All right. So you don't just grab whichever one. No. No. You, okay. you, we have a parking spot. I have a labeled parking mm-hmm. spot. So that way, you know, gotcha. when someone is filling it for me, they go go to Route Twenty Five truck. It's truck oh, okay. six six three. All right. So um, Saturday morning, the, my my boss goes, "Your truck's ready. They're driving it over now. Excellent. Get my truck back." It starts, um, it starts, uh, I, I, oh, it's snowing lightly that day. And eight streets in, my windshield wipers break. <laughs> okay. So I have to put so, that, uh, that AC on high and hot. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I have to retract this. This is a few days. This happened a few days before the storm. Okay. Okay. When we got that first flurries. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting yes. my dates a little mixed up. So anyway, so I got I got in trouble for what happened. What's about <laughs> what I'm about to tell you on the 30th. Okay. So that's okay. right. So, so a few days before this big storm, we had like a light flurry day. My windshield wipers break eight streets in. I call the office. I get this new supervisor and I'm like... My windshield wipers don't work for the truck that I just got back. They were supposed to fix my windshield wipers. Good job, mechanic. <laughs> Her answer, bring it back. Okay. How am I supposed to do that when I have no windshield wipers and it's snowing? Oh. And I can't see out my window. So I'm like, no, I'm not bringing it back. There you go. Wow. I go, because it's unsafe. Okay. So, sure enough, um, am I getting my dates right? Yeah. I, 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 anyway, my dates might be wrong, but whatever. So, <clears throat> so I uh, I go. I'm not bringing. I'm not bringing you back. Send someone out because with another truck. Well, we don't have anybody. I okay, go. Well, then I'll just sit here because <laughs> I'm not driving this truck in the snow with you don't no have, windshield wipers. You don't have like an official tow truck or something like that. Well, the tow truck wasn't going to get there till forever. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so the mechanic calls me because they gave the mechanic my cell phone number, and he's like, "Hey, just bring it in." I go. Well, first of all, you were supposed to fix it. And I came back for this this morning, and it's broken again. And no, you come to me. Dot dot dot. Forty five minutes later, they come. Uh, my my boss, not my boss, but some my, my coworker comes, and she says uh, to give him three streets of my route. 
So it goes back to the office because I wasn't on any overtime list. I came off it, blah, blah, blah. And um, so, so fine. So there I go. So they take three streets. They give me a new truck. I don't realize two streets into the new truck that it's got no heat. Oh, jeez. It's zero degrees oh, out. Man. There's no emergency brake, no heat, but the wipers work. Well, there you go. So All right. I finish, Plus. I finish the route. I go back to the office, get sort all my mail, I hang my bag up, I go to the bathroom. I'm about to walk out to punch out, to go to New Year's Eve, you know, to hang out. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. I'm about to punch out, and I get Frank. So, basically come to her desk. So, I mm-hmm. go to her desk. She's like, all right, you're going back out. I'm like, <laughs> no, no, I'm not. And she's like... She's like, why not? I go, I'm not on the overtime list, which means if I'm not on, I'm not on any overtime list, which means someone who's on the overtime list has to get, go back out at the end of the day before they call anybody not on the list. Mm-hmm. So if you're on the list, you're going back out, you're, you're like, you, you, they own you. In the office with three other people that were on the list. Okay. Oh, I'm wow. not, yeah, I'm not on any list. She's like, you're going back out. I'm like, no, I'm not on the list. And plus I go, it's dark out, it's icy, and the truck you gave me has no heat. And I'm freezing because I was cold for the rest of the day, you yeah. know? I'm like, I had no heat. I'm like, so, and I'm literally, I mean, I'm wet. So I'm, I'm cold. I'm mm-hmm. like, my jacket is starting to crinkle because yeah, it's, it's frozen. Yeah, nuts. So, so she's like, are you refusing a direct order? I go, <laughs> because I have to, uh, Article 8 of the post office says I have to follow a direct order mm-hmm. unless my safety is, is compromised. So I go, yeah, because I don't feel safe. I go, it's you, I have you, the truck is horrible and it's dark and icy, and it's you know it's wet out yeah. and it's going to turn to ice because it's zero freaking degrees. Okay, I go, all right, happy new year, and I walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> About four days later, I get I get called into the office. Oh boy, with my union rep, and they're like, uh, you're getting a PDI, which is a predisciplinary interview. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not in trouble yet, but I might be. Yeah. yeah. So I walk in because I don't. I don't care. I know I'm. I'm not. I'm not. You know. Yeah. I, I know. I used to be a union rep. So oh, I know, okay. So I know my. I know my rights. And this woman is just insane. And she's flat out like lying. And she's like, she's like, do you, and she's like, you, 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 you refuse the direct order. And I'm. And my union guy goes, unless, unless, <laughs> unless. And she said he said unless like 15 times. And I'm trying not to laugh. Yeah. And normally when I go into these things, like I haven't been normally, called, normally how many times well, I haven't been called in in years. I've been on, <laughs> I've, I've had like a really good, the streak was broke. I haven't been called into the office in about five years. So, um, normally I used to flip out. I'm like, you're full of shit. I would like, cur- I would like, I would, I would get myself into more trouble. My union yeah. guy would go, just shut the fuck up and let me talk. And I would like, you're an asshole. I'm like, <laughs> I would scream at them. I, I was, I'm insane. Oh, I'm, that's, I worked for the post true. office. Yep. So, so, um. I was pretty calm, you know, because I was like, you know, it just pissed me off because it was just the worst way to end the year. Yeah, you know, but I, I, I had yeah. a good year all year at work and getting getting uh, dealing with this freaking beast of a woman, you know, having to deal with. Uh, I hope she doesn't listen. Well, actually, I don't care. But um, <laughs> so uh, so maybe a short episode. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I might be doing this full time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, so yeah. So she what do you call it? Um, she put a bad taste, but, and then she's like lying, and then I I walked they. they they, we write down each of our statements, whatever. I, you know, I tell, okay, it was, it was, it, it was an issue with, um, with uh, safety. So I'm pretty much off the hook, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and she's just rattling, rattling away, rattling. I walk out, and then my union rep comes out to me afterwards, and he goes, "Oh man, I actually hope you get written up." I'm like, <laughs> "What?" I'm like, yeah, "I'm like," he, he goes, "Oh, we'll beat it in 100, percent 100, and I can write her up on a few things." I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like, oh, okay, then go for it, or like, whatever. I don't care." So I'm that confident in my union. We mm-hmm. have a really good guy. So. Uh, but it was just like now, now, like this is the she's the type of woman who, who, um, like you could be five feet from her and she'll go hi, and like you know she's talking to you and oh, she wants a response. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, if you're yeah. not, if if I'm not making eye contact with you, I'm ignoring you. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, you know. And she'll go hi again. Ooh, <clears throat> sorry, my voice. <laughs> hi, hi. She'll say it louder. Yeah. Until like you look. Oh, hi. I, I like. Yeah. I didn't know you were talking to me. Like meanwhile, I know. I just don't want to talk to you. Don't bother me. You know. And she's just. She refuses to move. She doesn't want to do anything. But I've probably spoken enough about my job to enough where I could probably get written up. Um, but, if you uh, hear a big jump in the show, that's just a giant edit. <laughs> Next week, Larry's new host. <laughs> A battle of the ages. But yeah, so that was uh, 
That was that. That kind of. Oh, and then of course there was the giant uh, steam explosion in my house. Oh yeah, what happened there? So that this was uh, last Sunday. Um, this previous Sunday. Yeah. Was it this? Yeah. This previous. I think. Sunday, well, yeah. yeah I think this previous what, yeah. Sunday. I um. We were eating breakfast and uh, no, it was two Sundays ago. I'm sorry. And uh, we we're eating breakfast and my wife had to go to a um, a baby shower. So the night before she got stuck, her car uh, her car broke down or something. And it's a brand new car; it's mm-hmm. less than three years old. Um, uh, the battery went the battery went dead. Oh wow! So I was with the home with the kids. She was out at like Walmart or Target or something, and she's like, "The car won't start." I'm like, "All right, I, let me." I said. I said, let me get the kids, you know, dressed. I said, where? Are She's like, no, no, someone's helping me. Hmm. So a local guy who's a home uh, shop owner in, in our town, <laughs> complete stranger. No, no, he actually owns a florist in our town. He doesn't know. He doesn't know us personally. But I'm actually going to go get him a gift card. Mm-hmm. Uh, gave her a jump, got her home. So the next that morning, I woke up and her, the battery was dead. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, this car's only less than three years old. I mean, the le- it's it's going back in a couple of months. Mm-hmm. I call up Honda and I'm like. Uh, you know, I need to make an appointment because she needs a new battery. And I said, I'm not paying for crap. I said, because it's, it's still in the warranty. It's still on the lease. Oh, I can't get you to, in there till Wednesday. I go, you don't seem to understand something. I go, it's Sunday. I go, I need to come in today or tomorrow. You know, now I had work the next day. So uh, we got this thing. It's called Boost. It's like, uh, uh, it's a charger. Basically, mm-hmm. it's got cables. It's got oh, I know. Different, I've seen that. Different, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, things you could hook to it. And it basically, she just hooked it up to the next morning. Mm-hmm. She hooked it up. The car started right up. She drove the Honda, she dropped the car off, she got a thing, whatever. So mm-hmm. I made the appointment for Monday the next day. Hang up the phone, we, ju- we finish eating breakfast, and uh, all of a sudden I hear, really high, like like almost like a tea, tea kettle, you oh, know, wow. like a teapot. I'm like, what the hell's that noise? Now, you know the layout of my house. Mm-hmm. We're sitting where we eat, we eat yeah. our dining room's in the back. And I hear like dripping water. So I, I get up and I look into the dining room, and there is literally... Water, like a, like almost like a water fountain, like shooting out of my radiator. Oh, I have man. Steam heat, okay? Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck? I go over, I rip the cover, I mean, with my, I rip the cover off of my bands, and I'm like, um, I'm like, and it's just like, what? I'm like, and it's hot water. Yeah. You know? So yeah. I just push the whole dining room table, like, out of the, because mm-hmm. it's getting wet. I, you know, move the chairs because I don't want to get. And I'm like, towels now. I'm like, <laughs> Stats. All, all hands on deck. I'm oh, like, man. So my son, God bless his little five-year-old self, runs into the kitchen and grabs a paper towel. <laughs> here, Daddy. I'm like, get the hell out of here. I'm like, you're a you moron. I'm like, just... So, so my, Stephanie's flipping out. Juliana comes running out of her bedroom. It's coming out of my right ear. Oh, no. So she goes, what? I, she throws me some towels, runs into my daughter's room. I'm now covering the water. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's just, there's not all the towels in the world. There's not stopping this. <laughs> so, and then she goes, oh, I hear my wife, son of a bitch. It's in our bathroom, too. Wow. It was coming out of four different, a little bit out of my son's, but mostly out of the dining room, the bathroom, and our room. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, the bathroom and our room, it didn't reach our room, so it stayed okay. on the tile. That's good. Um. Because uh, it was basically, I just basically, she Stephanie, she goes, I just took the laundry basket and dumped it in the doorway, <laughs> the dirty laundry. There you go. All and, right. and basically sopped up. Yeah. Right. So that was, uh, I go, and then it's just like, then reality sets in. I jump out of, I run downstairs. I, as I'm running downstairs, I hit the boiler, oh, yeah. you know, the burner, yep. I shut it off. And then I, I literally. It's like I, a Batman switch. You literally, know when they're going down the yes, pole? Yes, you just yes, hit the thing. And like, you know, in my basement, I slide across the wood. <laughs> I almost like fell on my face. I slide across because now I'm, my feet are wet. Yeah. So, and I slide across the whole thing and I'm like, like, you know, like, I go into the back bedroom and I rip the paneling off the wall. There's a like a little, like inside the paneling, there's a door. Kind of like the, this thing. Yes, but it's, yeah. yeah. And I but, just, I, I literally, it's got a hinge, but. Mm-hmm. Not anymore. <laughs> um, and I shut the water main. So everything stops. Um, what happened was on in a steam furnace, there's a little valve that you fill the water up. Mm-hmm. It's got a little little glass yeah. th- vial that has a certain mark. That. Apparently, my, the valve wasn't Actually, shut I all the way. I remember that. The valve yeah. wasn't shut all the way. Oh. Um, but I shut it. There was something wrong with the valve. The valve was malfunctioned. So... I have to now bail buckets of water out of the burner because the, now what happened was the it got so filled it had nowhere to go except through the radiators. Oh man! Now every towel in my house later and some more gray hairs. My wife, I say, just I say, my sister in law comes and takes the kids. 
to their house, and I go just I go go to go to the shower. Just you know, I want everybody out of the house. <laughs> so so the guy comes. The um, my uh, my burner guy comes like an hour later, and he goes, "I haven't seen my family in four days because people's pipes are oh, freezing yeah, and everything." True, you know? yeah. So so he goes, "What?" He t- I told him, "He goes, all right." He goes, I bu- I, what happens? I already bailed like twenty five buckets of water mm-hmm. out of this burner to finally get the vial down, and now I'm, I was like, "I'm afraid to use it." He goes, "He told me, he goes, leave the water main off, turn the uh, you know, the burner on, get some heat in the house." So. He comes. He 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 replaces a, one fucking bolt or nut it. nut a nut on yep. the valve, fixes it. Doesn't charge nine hundred dollars. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't <laughs> charge me now. But I gave him. I gave him. I gave him a twenty. I'm like, all right, you know, thank you, you know. Uh, but then I'm like, oh, so I start, you know, I start doing laundry. Start doing a load of towels because now <laughs> there's no towels in there, yeah. and I'm like, no one's here. <laughs> My wife's at a baby shower. The kids are at my sister in law's, but I'm supposed to call her when the guy comes. <laughs> so I'm like, nah. <laughs> what Could did I? you do in the house by home alone? What did you do? Nothing. <laughs> Yo. I did nothing. And I'm sure you loved it. I I did a load of laundry mm-hmm. of towels, and I set I set I set it. I said, all right, I'm gonna nap. I'm gonna because I was exhausted <laughs> because you know what I'm saying? I was running around the house like a psycho. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, I cleaned up all the wet towels. They were all in the laundry room in the basement. You know, just like you know, the rest were in the shower in the mm-hmm. basement. Just you know, because the water was sopping. Yeah. And then I'm slowly doing, and I'm like, all right, when this load goes off, and I put this in the dryer, then I'm gonna call my sister in law <laughs> to come bring the kids back. <laughs> so that's what I did. I just sat on the couch and I was like, this is nice. This is nice. It was like quiet. I was like. Do I rub one out, <laughs> or do I play some Grand Theft Auto? I was like, did both no. at the same time. I did nothing. Wow, I did nothing. For you know half, what? Sometimes half hour. Nothing is good. Then I called my sister in law, and everybody, and my world came crashing down a half an hour later. <laughs> so, but uh, so that was pretty exciting. It was good, exciting stuff, you know. And uh, I always remember when I was little. I always remember things just going awry in the house, like major, like that. But like two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, we're and it's only the three. It was just me and my parents, and there we are just running around doing what we have to do, fixing what we need to fix. We had a um when Stephanie was pregnant with our with Juliana, our first child, um we had just done the bathroom over mm-hmm. in our in our master bath. And there was a uh little cabinet like uh to put like like toiletries and stuff so, on the wall. So a cabinet. Yeah, but it it wasn't. It was next to the medicine cabinet. You know, the medicine cabinet's over the sink. Okay, this is something separate that was just hanging. Gotcha. I, I don't know what happened. The, the original contract is hung it. We bought the piece from Home Depot mm-hmm. and, and they hung it. But I guess from the steam from the from the bathroom must have loosened the back. Oh, okay. Stephanie was like eight months pregnant. Um, went to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Got out. Literally went. Got into bed the second she got in there. Boom! I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm like, you know, you wake up at like, yeah. you, know, Ooh, you know, and the piece fell off. Oh man! They would, uh, you know, thirty seconds later, it would have landed on her. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was had a glass front, so oh, it, wow. it would have cut. It could have mm. cut her, but thankfully, you know, whether it was a guardian angel or whatnot, but uh, um, she didn't get hurt. But you know, I was like, I was pissed. You know, what I mean, and then you know, again, that happened at three thirty in the morning, yeah. or whatever it was. But yeah, stuff like that <clears throat> usually happens in the middle of the night. But you know, I guess luckily, thank God, we were home when it happened. Yeah. Uh, but now the funny thing is our dining room radiator used to go like from Buddy the Elf, bang, 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 because it, now it's like brand new. <laughs> it, it, I'm like, I'm like, I wish this would have happened 10 years oh, ago. Oh, basically that like, cling, 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 No, cling, no, cling, not cling. 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 It oh, would like, it, cling. it was like taking a hammer to a piece of oh, okay, sheet metal, okay. bang, bang, yeah. bang, and it would scare the crap out of you. Um, it was the joys of owning a home. I was going to say, um, yeah, man, home. Well, but, I got now, but renting, I'll tell you in a moment. Renting not so much fun either. Oh well, I remember our old apartment with the uh, the kids running around upstairs. Oh yeah, um, it was like well, that doesn't I, I, that I'm like, what were they? I remember, are they throwing him off the coffee table? I'm like, what? Remember that the, the kid above us? Yes, yes, a- a- AJ, whatever. His name. He, it was, I'm like, they're body slinging him against the ground. Well, it was like, fun when they gave him the the drums in the back room. You were they, gone, I think. Oh then. no, 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 oh, no. They Tony were had the drums. Oh wow, yeah, my first Saturday ever off. He's like, and what else? Where else would a, uh, would a, a tenant get away with <laughs> ripping open the back door of his apartment? Going, would you shut the fuck up? I'm like, and he's like, oh, I thought you were off. I go, you thought? I was like, 
at eight o'clock in the morning, he's banging on the drums, and I'm like, is, I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and I open up the because we had that back door which led to, I guess, up upstairs. Yeah. Um, and he's and he's like sitting in the back room. And he's like, he was like a big kid, and I'm like, Anthony, what the fuck are you doing? He goes, <laughs> he goes oh, I didn't know you. I didn't know you were home today. I, 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 I was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like. Dude, really? I go. You're not getting rent. I was like, so I <laughs> slammed the door, and, I, and he stopped. He felt bad, but uh, he was a good guy. Like when we had that blackout, he we we siphoned the uh, the what do you call it? Um, gas. The, the gas out of his Corvette. Oh, and, there you go. Uh, and uh, we had a generator, mm-hmm. and I was like, listen, whatever gas you need out of, out of I'll take out of my car. I had my truck at the time, and I was able to at least keep the ceiling fan running until oh, uh, yeah. till about four in the morning when the generator finally ran out of gas. <laughs> but um. Uh, it, the, yeah, he, that was a. I don't miss having it. I, and part of me misses having an apartment because when something breaks, I just make a phone call. Well, that's the thing. You know, like here, you're talking about with the water. I've had three water issues in this apartment, twice from the, uh, from the heater or the boiler, whatever it is. So I guess maybe almost the same thing like yours had, but it it would start to leak inside where mm-hmm. the radiator is, okay. which is right on the other side of this wall where my TV center is, and then it would come in and. Every time this stuff happened, I wasn't home. I was gone for the weekend or right. the week. So I'd come in and like, you know, it's, they're rugs down here. And you kind of walk in, you're like, why does it smell, smell a little? Moldy. Which down here in the basement during the summer, because in the summer I, I run a dehumidifier because otherwise you do get a little bit of that smell during yeah, the summer. Yeah, yeah. So I, I run it, which cures it. But I'm like, what? what is that? And then I walk and I kind of hear like squish. a squish. I'm like, uh... what is that? And then, um, and then I take my shoe off, have my sock on, and then of course I step on the rug. Isn't I'm like, that what? The worst the... feeling in the world, a wet sock. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, listen, there's all the things like, like, like I don't know, like losing, having a hatchet chop your hand off or something. I think I would rather have that than a wet sock. Wet socks are just disgusting. It's I mean, like, feet are disgusting to begin you, with. You like you but... like ketchup on French fries? Absolutely. Okay, if ketchup touches the side of your hand, what happens? I freak out. Really? I don't like ketchup on the side. Like, I once reached into, like, I went to get a fry, and I got ketchup on my hand. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, That's weird. Like, oh, don't get me wrong. I'll lick it off. But I'm still yeah. like, Ugh, you Well, know? yeah, I mean, you know, you know it is it is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's so twice it seeped through here. I'm like, and one time I had, you know, I just put my bag down. I had a really cool National Guard, uh, an official National Guard backpack. Because they were sponsoring one of the one of the accesses at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. one in Atlanta, WrestleMania twenty seven, and I think Atlanta. I, and I told it here on the show that was where um, they were doing a contest. It was like a it was a light gun, but it was a firing contest, and my dad won the firing. Contest. He had the best score of the day, and because you walk in and it's you know it's like a shooting gallery, right, right. And so of course he got the best score of the day. And of course, I had to talk him down so he didn't have any PTSD <laughs> at that point. <laughs> oh boy, no, I'm boy. kidding. God he, bless our soldiers. So he he won this backpack, and it, it was cool. It had the National Guard logo on it. It was camo, and it also had the WrestleMania 27 patch on it. So it was really so I loved it. And I, I used it for a while because those backpacks, they hold everything. So I had it on the floor. You know, just I used it, put it down, kind of forgot it was there. I come back, and it was sitting there when the, when the water got sopped in. And then it, it, the bag was ruined because it just always had that moldy smell yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I was like, son of a bitch. And then there was another one. Where water, water is almost worse as fire, and honestly, house. there was one right. Uh, I, mean, I know I'm pointing, but uh, you see what the discoloration is in the ceiling. Yeah, that used to be the original uh, fire alarm before uh, smoke detector. I mean, before it moved over there, like a week after my landlord took that off, and he put a cover, like a, almost like a cover you would put onto yeah, a, it's uh, a face plate. A light, yeah, um, all the way upstairs, the guy's um, washing machine because he has his own washing machine pipe broke. That water flooded down into upstairs. I was yeah. gone. What I understand was there was talk saying, hey, why don't you check down in the basement? And someone went, I doubt it made it downstairs. Yeesh. So then water I walked in. travels very fast. So I walk in again. Kind of got that smell. I'm like, what? Between walls. What is that? Squish, is squish, squish, squish. Not even the squish. I just look over at the thing and there's water. on. I'm like, why is there water? On, a little bit on the entertainment unit. Uh, the, the the front glass was all one, spotty. This one? this one, this very one, spotty. Now I didn't right now have game systems on there, but I didn't have the game systems. I had signed pop vinyls on yeah. there, like rest, signed wrestling. I mean, I still have them. I was Ruined. able to salvage it. No, I was able to salvage them, but still, I did. The only granted, the only thing that really got sacrificed was I had um, 
Disney Infinity game, which came with a board and figures. So I had to get rid of that. But, I mean, there was a lot of stuff that got wet. And I imagine it didn't pour. must have just dripped. But, again, I was gone for the weekend. And no one checked. Uh, so, so I yeah, walk in. Fine. I'm like, what is it? And then for the longest, I had to take the TV down. I had to wipe it all down. Like a week later, yeah. it was still water underneath yeah. the TV. Water hey, listen, is terrible. This is the second. This, the, it is not the giver of life. It is the taker of souls. It's the taker of uh, random shit. <laughs> uh, look, this is the second time in, I'm in my house nine years. The second time we had uh, a flood, basically. You know, I mean, my pa- Red sudden interruption. Ooh. You have one minute to grab anything out of this house or it, it, before it explodes. Oh, so there was more to that. Okay. Um, what is it? My bootio. Um, <laughs> That's the way. Explain. My, the bootio is your we $500 talked about something it. dollar 300. Rice crispy or whatever it is. No, it was, it's, it's a prop from WrestleMania 30, 31. Uh-huh. Um, I would grab. 30 seconds. What did I say? A minute? Minute. A minute. Okay, yeah. you have a minute. So I'll grab that. I, I would, should have say one item, but. I would probably grab. Uh, let me see. What else is around here? I, I, I feel like I want to grab like my autograph stuff. Maybe a couple of the pop vinyls. I don't really have anything. This is good because this question ties into being married and single. Yeah. So, so I would t- I tell you what that's I what it is. It would be material stuff. Probably a couple of the belts and um, and um, probably my Nintendo Switch. So I have something to do while it's I'm waiting while, there. While they, they clean up the mess. Yeah. But that's, yeah, it, it would be more, it would be more the autograph stuff okay. is what I would probably grab and run. And that I, in this in this scenario, you already have your wallet and cell phone on. You, I'm so, assuming that. Yeah, yeah okay. I was thinking jacket. Now, but... Me being the married guy, well, obviously, I'm assuming that my family's out, so it's just okay. me in the house. Okay, we'll put it that way. We know what I'm grabbing. I have a photo album, and I have a minute, so I already know where the photo album is. So that'll take about 15 seconds. I have a. It's not even really a photo album. It's a book that my aunt made me of my family history. Oh wow! Um, when they came over from Italy, mm-hmm. the ship's manifest, mm. you know their past, their original passports, all mm-hmm. that stuff of uh, mostly my grandmother's side of the family. But yeah, but still, that's the first thing I would grab. Uh, my secret money stash. Nah, um, I shouldn't say this. Um, <laughs> it's a secret. Sure is. No one now knows it's where going it is. to the bank tomorrow. Actually, yeah. I'm going to deposit all in the <laughs> bank on Monday, on Friday. Uh, but um, and uh. Probably my wife's jewelry, <laughs> because I'm going to need Hulk something Hogan. to sell. <laughs> I would grab my Hulk Hogan. Yeah, see, well, that's is... what it is because I don't have any memories in here. I don't have any. I probably grab. I probably grab a few photo albums because that's probably. Oh, well, first of all, all, that I'm trying to get digital digital anyway. And so. I mean, I'm assuming at the 10 second mark, and I'd, I'd hear like a doot, boo, boo. You think you'd be in Hawaii? Yeah. So that way, I knew. Okay, I got it. Because that actually, it's funny because. Back when I had our my my where I lived in my apartment with in Brooklyn, um, uh, when I lived with my mom, the land with the the it was it, the house is really old. My house growing up is a really pre war house. The thermostat is in the apartment downstairs, so they control the whole house. That's weird, yeah. But I mean, we, the tenants we had a good relationship with downstairs. The tenant downstairs, and I'm like, hey, you know, we're freezing up here. You know, bring the. Um, eventually the landlord actually moved in. Um, but when this tenant was downstairs, she was a little bit insane. She used to bleach the, um, Her sidewalk asshole. in front of the house. Ha- well, all right. She used to bleach the sidewalk in front of the really? house to keep it clean. Um, oh, weird. Okay. the literally the first coldish day that we had in like, let's say it was September or whatever. She threw the heat on. Now the system wasn't bled. And the whole house filled with smoke. Ooh. So I had I had been out the night before with uh, my fraternity or whatever. So I was probably, A, a little hungover. Um, and I wake up to my mother going, the house is on fire. <laughs> Get out. So now my dog, I had my dog Lucky. Sl- oh, you had a dog Lucky too? Yeah, slept, dog slept lucky. at my feet on oh. the bed, you know. So I literally grab my wallet. Now I'm in. I'm in a pair of box shorts. Okay, <laughs> I grab my wallet. I uh, 
I think I had like a Motorola at the time. You know, oh I don't, my god! But uh, I grabbed boop, my wallet. I didn't grab. I grabbed my wallet. I grabbed my phone. I grabbed the dog. Okay, all right. I, okay. I, would, I yeah. grabbed. I literally grabbed the dog and my laptop. Okay, because I, I had like I had I had a laptop that was like you know I didn't, mm-hmm. never liked desktops, so I had a Joel clunky, a big old clunky, <laughs> to like forty five pound laptop. You know, and I grabbed that and I run outside. Oh, I grab I. Th- I step into my sneakers though and tie them. Okay, <laughs> in a pair of box shorts. It's eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning on a Saturday or a Sunday, and I run downstairs. And let's and, also let's put it. Let's face facts. You you are in much better shape. You are this. Oh, year. I was a fat so, fuck. <laughs> I was I was I was full density. All right, two fifty easy. Okay, and I I I might have grabbed the shirt. I don't remember because no, I didn't because I tell you what. And I ran downstairs because I thought the house was on yeah, fire. Of course. And I'm thinking. What, what what do I did I I didn't grab my fucking car keys. I'm like I have no now my car my keys are gonna melt you know yeah. So I'm waiting for this pre, I'm waiting for this pre pre uh, war house to yeah. just blow up my childhood home, and I mean fire engines came okay wow and this moron all it was there was no fire she she I ended up sitting on my neighbor's porch literally holding the dog you know with, from mm-hmm. underneath. With my laptop on one, end, okay. <laughs> oh, I had a hat on too. I remember, <laughs> and my neighbor puts a blanket around my shoulders. Oh my god! <laughs> and she's like, "I go, I fucking hate these tenants." I go, I go, I, I and and I, I hear just someone. I don't know who it was to this day. I still don't know who it was. It goes, poor Frankie. <laughs> she goes, I'm like, story my goddamn life, poor Frank. And then the, the fire, the fire comes out. It's like there's nothing, nothing. And I'm like, I go back inside. I, you know, I let the dog, and he runs upstairs, yeah. and I'm like. You fucking assholes. And I'm just like, and I just walked up. I hate you. I literally said to her, I go, I hate you. <laughs> I, ran, I walked up, says I went back to bed. If, um, it was yeah, all steam. If, it was all steam. Yeah, it's steam. But, you know, you still wake up to that shit. Absolutely. It's scary, you know? Uh, no, I would definitely, if, like, if I was at my parents' house, absolutely, dog and cat would be grabbed. The first thing to grab. Who would grab your parents? Well, I, I imagine they'd be on their way unless they're already in an urn somewhere. And an grab me. An urn. Wow. Let me ask you a question. Now, are you going to move back to your your uh, your childhood home if your parents expire ever? I know it's a horrible question. No, it's a circle of life. I understand. We've talked about it. Um, I know you talked about getting a condo, but... <laughs> what, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> no, I, can't, I just can't picture you with a condo. Just living the life of luxury. You know, you can't... A lot of these condo associations don't let you hang an American flag. Well, then I will not be moving into those. Well, you yeah. wouldn't even pass... I think I would wank a wonderful tenant. Wank? You'd wank. A I did say that, didn't I? Well, <laughs> weird. Because I do what I got to do to get in. <laughs> well, hey, hey, whatever, whatever, whatever you need to do to pass. <laughs> um, I would love to, but no, probably I, I can't live in that house by myself. It's just too big. So I would. It's already been discussed. No, it's not. Well, hopefully by then you'll have a family. It's not happening. I um I most likely will sell. I'll sell the house, get the money. Move Take out of the basement there. apartment in 20 years. I don't know. When they find me dead in here all alone, well, don't worry, that's what's going to happen eventually. Hard drive, so. Someone had made such a good point. I heard today it was a comedian, too. I think it was Mark Marin. He's like, yeah, you know, I have two computers, one for porn and one not for porn. I'm like, what a genius idea. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I used to have that, but that laptop broke. <laughs> Taxes. Taxes. Um, uh, yeah, so I would lo- listen. I would I would move back to Brooklyn in a heartbeat um, I I, if I could. I wouldn't. It's I, lo- I love it's Brooklyn. Too crowded. For That's me. the thing. With well, the parking by by me isn't bad. Yeah, well, because anyone who parks by you is supposed to be there. That's, this right. is true. So I mean, my neighborhood. But a lot of Chinese are taking over in Garrison Beach. Oh yeah, my parents have one, two, rut row, maybe three neighbors that are Chinese, and like during the sun, no joke. The the house smells, re- whole everything smells like cabbage. A uh, fish, oh, um, oh. literally. Well, right, that's Garrett's Beach anyway. The right? house. Thank the, you. The, how, how dare you? The house, literally, right behind my parents. Um, the, no, when they moved in, no joke, karaoke every Saturday. <laughs> Each other not Japanese. No, no, they, no. They're <laughs> that's one big potato. <laughs> Super potato. Yes. Um. Interesting, because yeah, I remember Garrison Beach being very uh, um, 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 white exclusive. Yes, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, it, it, you know, I like, I almost got killed in Garrison Beach, and I'm just not from there. But it I'm was white. it was very. If you're not there, get out. My Obviously, friend was, my friend was killed in Garrison. Beach. Really? Yeah, I did not know that. 
I'm sure you. I'm sure you heard. I'm, about I'm it. sure I've heard of the incident. He was at a party. He got slashed with a machete. Died on Garretson Avenue. I'm not going to say his name. No, no, no. Don't say his name. But w- was he him and another or guy stabbed? Him and another guy were killed by one guy, one kid. I think I know what you're talking about. I'm not going to say names. I think I know what you're talking about. I think I'm aware of the incident because I think. S- not all right. Not involved, but my dad was almost. If it's the same one I'm thinking of, kind of sort of connected. We'll talk about this off the, off the off okay because I need to know now. No, no, no. Yeah, that's that's curious. But, um, all right, we'll uh, talk about that later. Yeah, that um, was, uh, and when I say connected, meaning just well, we'll talk later. Yeah, we'll talk later. So he wasn't at the party. I didn't think so. <laughs> so. Just just to clear it up. But uh, uh but no, I would you know, I'm very I mean, uh, it's weird. I'm kind of sentimental to a point. I used to be very sentimental. Hey, don't get me wrong. I love growing. I love I love the Brooklyn I grew up with. It's just not the same. It's it's becoming hipster and I can't stand not it. Not even the hipster, but it's just too crowded. I mean, I, I guess it's cuz where I live, I come home from work every day, I pull right into my driveway. Well, or, that's yeah. or I park in front of my house. Absolutely. You know, I know going by when I used to take when you know, Stephanie used to come into Brooklyn, Trying to, especially where we lived in our oh, apartment. Oh, forget about the parking you, over you'd, there. You'd be circling for 45 minutes, and then you'd find a spot five blocks away and go, sweet. My record was an hour and 15. Yeah. I mean, well, you know what spot. I used to, honestly, what I would do, what I would just, I would double park in front of the house. I would sit in my car. Mm-hmm. Instead of driving around and driving yeah. and wasting it, I would just sit around, and I would sit, and I would wait for something to open up. I would park halfway up the block, either block a driveway in it while I was in the car, or double park. Or by a hydrant, and I would wait for a spot to open because I, 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 I couldn't be bothered. I usually lucked out actually parking next to uh, the block up next to the, to the diner. I actually was going to pay the guy in Rite Aid to let me park park my car there, you know, overnight. Cause, really? Yeah. At one point, I mean, you know, I'd gotten a small raise, and I'm like, All right, I'm just going to take my raise money, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just, uh, you know, pay Rite Aid because we lived right next door to 24 hour Rite Aid. Yeah, that, that Club, Rite Aid rule. Club Rite Aid. <laughs> Because remember, you'd, you'd, be, we'd be, you'd be sleeping and you'd... How <laughs> <laughs> you know, times I went out there, I'm like, could you lower that fucking radio? I'm like, I got really? a kid. I, got, I, got, I had work, dude. I had work the next one. Oh, I, wow. I, I'm a light sleeper. So I'm like, I mean, come on. It's three o'clock in the morning. They're pumping a the radio, you know, because they're hanging oh, out. Really? And, and I'm like, dude, I got a kid sleeping in here. I never had a kid. I, I was going to say, wait, that's why when you started saying kid, I'm like, what? what no, what, I used okay. to lie. Yeah, I have a, and I would, I would come out in all manners of dress to scare the, them. The, the guy next door over here, not the guy, but I guess his kids or whatever, like they enjoy working on their cars at like 10 yeah, o'clock I've at night. Of them, I've seen him uh, yeah. uh, at the car show once. Yeah, but like they're working on their cars at like ten o'clock at night. I know. It's it's a, well, yeah, it's absurd. I, one time I left here. When I left yeah. here one night, they were out there, crazy Dutch heads. I can't say from Austin Powers the line, you know, crazy, crazy Dutch, Dutch bastard. bastard. I can't say that in front of my kids. So Joey, oh. I, 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 Joey, we were, I, what, how, I go, how about no, you crazy Dutch? And I couldn't. I almost said bastard the first time. I went, you Dutch head. So Joey goes, you're a Dutch head. So now, it, now the line in my house is, you crazy Dutch head. I don't know. Growing up, I heard every word there was. I watched in the with my mother when I was about ten years Honestly, old. Honestly, and I was still scared to to this day. To this day, I cannot curse in front of my parents. I probably cursed in front of my dad. Maybe five times in my life. I remember the first time I did it, I was like 26. <laughs> I, literally, I was like, I, I literally, I was like, Ooh. and then I was like, shit, but, I cursed in front of my Like, father. I don't know now at this point if it's just respect or I'm just used to it. Let me ask you a question. M- growing up, when you had your, let's say you had neighbors, what did you call the neighbors? Mr. and Mrs.? Actually, no, I did go, We I went by first names. Really? Honestly, I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm because shocked. it was... Because you're not. Excuse me. Would you stop doing that? Because you disappoint me. I um. It just, yeah, I don't think I've ever called anyone. You think that bothers me? You think that bothers me? It does. <laughs> How's that yogurt ball? Whatever it was. Mm, yogurt balls. I yeah no I um. I don't yeah I don't ever remember saying Mister or Mrs. Mostly because also, uh, it started. Because like in the Cub Scouts and in the Boy Scouts with our leaders, we we called them by their first name. Right. They told us to call them by their first name. I mean, obviously, besides teachers, they're the ones I call Mr. and Mrs. And then I even remember with my father. You ever have that one teacher? Call me Gary. <laughs> no, I'd probably get called up nowadays. <laughs> uh, I even remember my dad having this conversation with, uh, I think, Rippo and Chu, I think. Uh, when they would come up, when I first started hanging out with them, they would come over. And we were... I mean, I started hanging out with them. I was 13, 14, so they were 16, 17, and probably 32, respectively. And 
choose the old one. And um, he wasn't 32. I'm going to hear that. We, uh, I remember my, you know, they asked, hey, how you doing, Mr. Mormon? And my dad's like, do not, you're my, you're my son's friend. Do, do not call me Mr. Right, Mormon. Right, right. Call me Butch. He's like, I, everyone calls me Butch because my dad just does not like Mr. Yeah, Mormon. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's where that was. And I never did it out of disrespect. I never felt it was disrespect. And I was, I, I was never told otherwise, you know, be like, uh, maybe you should, you know, call this person by this name. It's funny because I had cer- certain neighbors, uh, and I think it was just maybe the neighbor's choice. Can I make one? I, you know what? I'm sorry. There, no, no, yes, there was you one suddenly neighbor. Interrupted me. I know. Ooh, there, I want to get a shirt that says sudden interruption on it. Pro.tchip.com Chip? slash the retro gamers, where you can buy your what? retro gamers merchandise. Really? But soon we will have a better half. If you what? want, we have hats, we have shirts, I want a hat. we have mugs. Mugs. We have bumper stickers, phone cases. They don't no, sell bumper I've been stickers. talking about bumper stickers forever. I know, but Damn this it. company also one day will have a carving board. We need a logo, and I want legging. I know. We need a logo before we get it. A... But in the meantime, buy retro gamer stuff. Okay, go on. So the, uh, the 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 old lady across the street. Thank you very much. The old lady across the street. Yeah, I did bitch. call her Mrs. No, actually, she was very sweet. All right, uh, Mrs. Riley. God, I remember her. Yeah, good old Mrs. Riley. Yeah, she was a sweet Italian. I don't know. No, um, um, she always had candies. We had, little oh, hard candies. Oh yeah, we had uh, certain neighbors. Uh, uh, I had like one of my best friends growing up, Richie. His dad, I called him by his first name once, mm-hmm. and never again because <laughs> he had that. He 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 passed away recently, and he was very popular in the neighborhood, very very active with the school and the sports programs, and um, he, hell of a guy. I mean, and he, I I called him. I called him. His name was Tom. I called him Tom once, and he shot me a look. Really, where like. Like that, I always call it the dad look. Yeah, you know, like yeah. my father had it. My father could shoot me a look, and oh, I, I'd yeah. st- I would literally just start paying. Yeah, okay. The same with me. He yep. shot me a look, and he was not my father. And I was waiting to get smacked. <laughs> and he goes, "Excuse me," and I went, "I'm sorry, you know, Mister McMahon," because you know. Yeah. And uh, I never again called him by his first name. But I had the people who lived across the who lived next. He lived across the street from me. Yeah. People who lived next door to them, I would call by their first names. Yeah. It was it was certain what, parents. Did they say you know you can call me or just you just didn't? No, it was just kind of natural because now my kids call. This was a, actually a discussion uh, we had. We had people over our neighbors up the street. Mm-hmm. We had um, our neighbors up the street out at our house for New Year's um, with my mom and uh, and um, my stepdad mm-hmm. uh, who came in from Brooklyn. Um, so, but it was funny because my kids were calling them by their names, and I'm like, I go. You're okay with that, right? You know. Oh, okay. And they were like, "Oh yeah, we don't care." And my kids call all our neighbors by their first names, mm-hmm. and I'm like, and then there was another parent who we were with not this was a couple of like months ago who I remember saying, "Don't." We overheard them talking to their kid. You call yeah. them Mister, Mrs., you know, mm-hmm. whatever. And I was just wondering because there's that. I think that is something. It's a generational thing. Oh, absolutely. I don't. I people call me by my first. I when people actually say, "Oh, hello, Mister Messina," I'm like, "Please, that's my father. Call me friend." Yeah, you know, honestly, you know? yeah, you know, it's a cliche. But I mean, it's I'm 43 true. years old now. Yeah, I, I guess technically, yeah, I am Mister Messina. Yeah. But uh, um, when like recently, like I, you know, if I was at a bank, you know, I had a, we had to do some banking recently. Um, we're getting a, apparently we we're, we're doing a brand new kitchen in my house. Ah. full soup to nuts, right down to the studs. The walls will be being broken and windows will be added and losing, radiators will be losing radiating. part of my garage not, oh. not affecting the car not affecting the car it's still you don't have much room in there but you no no the no, no, no. well but the car in there yeah the car as long as the car fits in there i don't care about yeah. what it, you know but um my wife is addicted to hgtv and apparently <laughs> i'm having like a chip and joanna kitchen what's that <laughs> chip and joanna it's a show um Apparently, th- she thinks she's Joanna, which makes me chip. Is it's that the his- Asian girl? No, they're a married couple who like buy houses and oh, flip them. They're all my- oh, yeah, the really hot blonde? I I could not even tell you, to be uh, honest. I, she, she's like, oh my God, I saw this idea. I want to do this. And I'm like, I'm just like, how much is this costing? So, uh, but getting back to the Mr. and Mrs. thing, it was, um, I just, I was curious as to, you know, how mm-hmm. you grew up with that because, like, I, I call your dad Butch. Yeah. You know, and, um, but I don't think like there's certain like 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 our friend Verdi. I think I I called his father Mister Testaverdi, but I call his mom Jojo. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. Well, so, I guess maybe there's also the way you feel when you walk in. Maybe right, like the like, way the, I, the, like the neighborhood shoot me. Yeah, 
to this day, I mean, he's not even with us, and I'm still scared shitless of him. <laughs> okay, so I mean, my dad, my my dad. I, I mean, I mean, obviously, I called him dad, but I didn't. Call, but like, like I said, my dad had that look where he never laid a hand on me, my father, mm-hmm. and if he did, I don't remember. <laughs> but um, uh, he would shoot me a look, and it was almost a look with a smirk, like he could like. <laughs> really really you know you can really okay all right tough guy you know and like i can't do it i can't do it to my kids the little i love my children but i will sit there and i get dad voice i get dad voice or you know and i'm like and i'm like uh i'm like hey you know like yeah. and, and like my son just goes mm-hmm. like he, he try he gets it my son gets a nervous laugh and like we have these couches. You see my couches. It mm-hmm. kind of makes like the yeah. letter C. Um, and I walked into the room, and he was running back and forth on the couches. And I'm like, "Hey, how many times are I gonna tell you not to do that?" And he flops down on the couch, and he's like, smirking. Like I'm like, I go, "Do I look like I'm laughing? Do, do you? What part of my face has a smile on it?" And he's like, and then he gets his eyes get really big, and he like covers his mouth with his forearm because yeah. he's gonna start laughing. You know, and I'm and I'm like I'm like, God damn it! I'm like I can't see. That's I can't perfect it. And that's what drives me nuts. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, it that's what we're missing. I feel is a lot of discipline, private discipline. Doesn't well, I'd love to see a public discipline. Um, yeah, because when I was younger, very frowned upon. I know it's ridiculous. Um, I, my dad didn't even have a look. He said to be silent. Yes, I got, Here's golden. what happened. Here, here's how my father. Which is, if I have kids, this is how I want to raise kids. I got in trouble, I would cry. But when I cried, I would hyperventilate. I would actually start to hyperventilate. Oh my god. So what would happen? I get yelled at some more because I'm hyperventilating. That's how it worked in my house, and that's how it should work in every house. It's like... I I, I don't... Look, I'm I'm not telling you, I'm talking in general. Not you personally, I'm talking in general. We've mentioned it in past... Mentioned in the first episode, I know, yes, I don't have children, but it just, the, the lack, not lack, but the, 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 the discipline, it's like everyone wants to be the best friend, but really, it should not be the best friend, it should be a parent, until 18 or 20 years old, even then, not so much. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised at how many people are changing that. At least in my circle of parental friends, mm-hmm. we all parent, I think, pretty much the same way. Um, we, uh, and it's nice when I see other parents lose their shit mm-hmm. in front of me, yeah. Because I'm like, oh, good, I'm I'm not crazy, absolutely. Because like I for the other day, I was I dropped my kid off at school. I happened to be off. I dropped him off at school, and <laughs> a mom that I know walks by. Her kid was playing in the snow, and she's like, oh god, I, I effing hate her. <laughs> I just started laughing because I've been there. Yeah. I've been there where I wanted to, I wanted to strangle my children, but I love them so much, you know. But, but like, there's, and I'm not my kids' friends. Good. I, I, mean, Good. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I look. I, I'm, I'm there for them. I support that, them. That, I, never a question. But the, 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 I'm not there to be their friend. Exactly. I, and I told my daughter. I said, I, I said, you will, you know, I, I demand, I demand a certain amount of respect to her, to me and my my wife from our children. Mm-hmm. And I actually used – it's funny because I, I found myself using a line that my mom – she goes, what do you think? I'm one of your friends on the street? I go, and, and, my, my, and, and my daughter looks at me. I mean, she goes, I don't have friends on the street. She goes, I have friends in school. And, and on See, the, right there I would have been slapped. Uh, I, exactly. I would have been hit. But I was trying not to laugh because, first of all, the hardest thing about – and Larry, if you ever become one, the hardest thing about being a parent – is trying not to laugh. I don't know. I see kids. But no, what? no. Trying not to laugh when they say something. No, no, because no. Because they'll do stuff and say stuff that you're like, oh my God, that was goddamn funny. I, I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Like with groups of kids or, or, or other kids when I'm with you guys or whatever. And it in my head, I will be 100% honest with you. I'm like, why are they not taking them into the other room and beating the shit out of them? Because it, I don't understand because this. You're because not, the lack of... the, the Can lack I tell you of, why? Can I tell you why? Because... All it takes is for one idiot that you have a problem with, okay? Let's say you have a problem with a neighbor or someone at school or a friend or whatever, a coworker. All they have to do is make a phone call. Well, I'm not. All Listen, right. all they have to do is make a phone call. You're taking me literal. No, no, I am taking you literal because I've seen it happen, okay? 
all they have to do is take one phone call, and you can lose your children. Okay, over one lie. But okay, and honestly, I try, I try not to. I don't physically hit my kids. Okay, mm-hmm. I guess that's the same thing. Physically hit my kids. I don't hit my kids. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna say I never spank my kids, but I don't like. I'm not gonna sit there and like pull their hair or you know slap them or whatever. Or, or, no, of course, I, I, I'm not talking no, abuse. No, but like I will grab my kid by her arm or by her shoulder, and yeah. I'm like, get in your room, you know, like whatever. That's fine. Okay, and trust me. I mean, I've had a chair thrown at me. <laughs> No, I've, 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 no. Well, I was older. Oh, oh, I was much older. Oh, I've had, trust me, I've had things thrown at me. I mean, but I mean, you can't, it's, it's, there's so much, first of all, everyone has a phone. Every, you know, and honestly, look, look, I told you what happened when I grabbed my, when I took my daughter out of Toys R Us that one day mm-hmm. or out of Panera Bread. And, and I was waiting, and that woman, woman? the woman yeah. was like sitting there next to my car, like trying to get her. I'm like, I go, I will shove that phone right up your ass, lady. I go, don't, don't think I won't, you know. You know, but like I was, what I was doing, what what you didn't, what she didn't see thirty seconds before was my daughter having a meltdown. Mm -hmm. I removed her from the situation to spare everyone else around her. You know, because she's embarrassing me. We were at a restaurant and she was acting up. I took a, I took a right out, Mm -hmm. right out in the car with you. You know, because I don't want to disturb other people while they're eating. Okay, and I, I've, I've walked out of movie theaters. I've walked out of restaurants. You know. I almost walked out of goddamn Hershey Park once, okay? <laughs> and I mean, I was driving back home, okay? So, I mean, I'm like, that's it. You're done, you know? Um, because, listen, you know, the problem is I think kids, you know, they're too um, desensitized, I guess. I don't know. I think they know somehow subconsciously they know they can get away with that. That's things. it. That's what bugs me. And There's no know, consequence. I, exactly. And I don't know... How I think it's almost ingrained in them, like they know already. Without now, my there's certain things in my house they know they can't get away with, but there's certain things that maybe I let them get away with because the battle is too much, is is worse than what what it is. Like I'm trying, to, I'm trying. To think I don't know. It it's I mean, I've, we can only compare it to ourselves when we were younger. I get it, and there's always going right. to be a difference in generation. I get it. There's always going to be difference in generations. But I remember when I was younger, when I got in trouble, I thought the world was going to end, well, absolutely. and that's how it should absolutely. be. Absolutely. And and it taught me lessons, and I would not repeat it. If I did repeat it, then that would be the issue. Now, also on the flip side of it, again, growing up, you know, I, it, my parents were not my friends. As they should have been. But as I got older, I remember every birthday, I remember my dad would tell me, you're allowed one more thing that you can get away with, if you will, if you want to call it that. Okay. You, you were given a little more leeway. A little more, a little, very little, but still every year until I was 18. He literally said, okay, you can get now. You can. He's like, like, like one year he'd be like, okay, you know, um, you know, you can stay out a little bit later. Right, right. A little thing like that. Right, right, cool. right. And then it would get to the point like, okay, I would let you... If you're upset, I'll let you, you know, argue back. Because there was no arguing with him. There wow, was okay. no saying well, again, anything. Your dad's a military man, so I but mean... still, but it worked. That's how it should be. Right. And and again, just a little bit, a little bit of give and take. Like when I hit my teenage years, I'm like all right, you know, if you, if you want to, you know, uh, you know, talk up or yell, I'll let you get away with it just a little bit. You know, and then at a point, it'll then stop. Go. For- yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so, that. so when he had enough, he would put it absolutely. Which and trust me, it didn't last long. Yeah, I know, and it should have been. Sorry, <laughs> um, but it was that that consequence. I right. always remembered the fear. I see kids today, and I see they know there's no consequence. They right. just they just wait it out, and it. I want, and not- I never will say anything. Because it's not my place. Now, are you but talking I teenagers? Or are you talking little kids? Well, there's because everyone, all you right. guys have little kids. Well, okay. Well, so. I, I mean, I know just there was there's things, but even the things as as a parent, I see things. Perfect example: about two, three years ago, Steph and I happened to, and we don't really eat fast food often, but we were we were taking. I think Joey was a baby, so maybe it was a little bit longer than that. Uh, we went to Wendy's, okay, Ooh, nice. and there was a woman online. Her kid was having a all. All hell broke loose, breakdown, meltdown, mm-hmm. screaming, and I mean, I remember this kid was just a big redheaded kid. Like I thought she was Wendy, you know. <laughs> and 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 the mother is just you could tell his mother is beaten, you know. And she's ignoring the how this kid's. I don't want a cheeseburger. Yeah. I want chicken nuggets. So, 
Um, so, um, so uh, she was having a uh, full blown meltdown. The mother was doing nothing, and now I have, you know, Joey, who was uh, probably in, still in like you know the little car seat there. Yeah. Um, and uh, and Juliana had to be about two or three years old, and and I remember my daughter covering her ears because she was. Mm-hmm. And she was she was not a uh, not 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 into what this kid was doing. Fair enough. Um, and you know, th- and I, I finally I was just like, I'm about to open my mouth to say something, and Stephanie goes, "Nope." Stephanie goes, "No, no, 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 no." She goes, "I don't need this." She goes, "Because she, knew, cause she 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 knew that I'd be like, lady, you want to shut that fucking kid up, please?" I'm like, you know, I mean, and you could tell people. I mean, yeah, people yeah. sitting down eating are like. They got that look like, yeah. I'm going to strangle both the mother. And the mother's not doing a damn that, thing. Would you like this instead? Uh, Would you like that instead? And I'm like, I'm like, uh, if this was, I go, if the, I go, I, I said to Juliana, I go, if you ever do that, you don't eat for a week. I was like this. And she was like, she, she gave me like three yeah. years old. She kind of knew like, I'm like, and I, like, there was a perfect example. The other night, Juliana was giving me, giving us some issues. She didn't want what was for dinner. Now, we try and cook often. You know, um, we, you know, if we, if we got a lot going on, we'll like, we don't have time to just, just order a pizza, yeah. order, you know, it's not meant every or, week, every exactly. day. Yeah. But for the most part, you know, we, we try and cook. I cook, my wife cooks. So there's always, there's always, you know, um, meals. So I, I forgot what we were having that night, but she was like, I don't like it. And my, my daughter's the kind of thing is like, if there's a piece of parsley and like a meatball, I she know. will rip that mo- that meatball apart until yeah. there's nothing green on it. And she'll have a little pile of parsley. And I'm like, just eat the goddamn thing. It has no taste whatsoever. Just eat the, you know. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. Ah. And I I picked this up from my dad. My dad had very strict dinner rules. Like, you do not eat until everyone sits down. Mm-hmm. Until like, And I remember being at my dad and my stepmom's house, like, growing up, my stepmother would serve the food, and my father would not touch his food. At all, I can't even think of okay, having wait. a meal without everyone right, together. Exactly right. So, but in my mom's house, now granted, my mom busted her ass working, so dinner was very casual. Mm-hmm. Like there'd be times we would we would either sit at the table or we would sit at like snack tables, you know, and, and watch TV, yeah. or, or we would all eat at different times because we all had crazy schedules, you know, when, as we got older. Yep. Um, but uh, it wasn't a formal dinner at my dad's house, I guess, because we also used to go visit my father. Mm-hmm. And we would either eat in the restaurant, which he owned. We'd have, like, you know, our own private table. All or right. if we were home, we would have, like, a formal dinner. And we all had our seats. And no one touched their food until, you know, my stepmom sat down. Okay? And I remember one time my brother-in-law came the first time. I'm like, do not eat until <laughs> my – until my either, unless my father goes, eat. Yeah. You know? And sure enough, like, you know, being the good hostess that my stepmother, she gives my brother-in-law the food first. And, he, and me and my brother are like, no, 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 no. And he sticks his fork and he starts eating. We're like, no, we coached you up in the car. You know, it was funny. You know, it's no big deal. But, my, yeah. you know, but um, so I kind of took that when I, now as, as a parent, I expect certain things at dinner time with my kids. Like my son, my son cannot sit in his seat. He's... Up, down, up, down, bouncing, back, 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 you know. My daughter just, you know, she's at the age where she wants to, she wants, she's very, she wants to serve herself. She wants to learn. She's like using, we like, we gave her a knife the other day. There you, you know? go. Um, and I'm like, all right, A, she's going to cut a finger or she's going to use it on me. <laughs> um, but she's, she's, she's getting a lot better. She used to be really, uh, really rough. I, I, I expect manners at the dinner table, you know, and, and that's. I don't think I'm asking for much of it, and it's a, like my son cannot eat over his plate. I mean, it, if we had a dog, it wouldn't be an issue. But like I'm saying, you know, he's eating a taco, and he's like his the plate's in front of him, and the taco's 16 yeah. feet away. And I'm like, Joe, uh, and, and there's cheese and meat. I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, because it's a pain. He's got to clean it up. Yeah. He's like, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm like, how do you? F- I tell you every meal, put your food over your plate. Yeah, that's eat the over thing. your yeah, plate. I'm sorry. You know, you know, I forget. No, I forgot. I'm yeah. like, how hey, you forgot? Like, there's the other, yeah, literally. Literally today, picking him up from school. Okay, I'm like, you got everything. You got you got your water bottle. Yeah, you got your lunch bag. Yeah, okay, get in the car. I go, you got everything. You sure? As we're leaving, I go, he, was, he goes, I have everything. Like he was getting pissed yeah. at me. Pull into my driveway. I forgot my lunch bag. I'm like, I hate you. I hate you, child. I want to strangle you right now. So, so I was like, uh, uh, look, you know, I'm like, come on, really? I forgot. No, you didn't forget. I told you seven seconds ago. Yeah, you know, but um, 
so in that regard, I, I mean, I, I, I expect certain, and I, my, my wife's like, sometimes you're a little too hard on them. I'm like, I'm like, I don't think, I don't think asking, and that's another thing. You parents, you, I mean, you have to be on the same page when it comes to parenting. Oh, it's and my wife definitely I, be a zone my, defense. My wife and I have had issues where, like, I'll punish, I'll punish one of the kids, or like, you know, like whatever. Let's say, for instance, um. You know, I'm like, you have to eat that. You have to eat the rest of your food or you're not getting dessert, you mm-hmm. know? And let's say there's four pieces of chicken left, whatever. My wife like, just eat two. And I'm like, that, I, I, that, I, I, I look I look at her and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, because I don't want to argue in front of them. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just looking at it. I'm like, I'm like, I'm <laughs> Wait, like. You've never been to my household at night oh, no, when I was younger. No, no, no. Don't, <laughs> trust me. I, I hit on the tables. Okay. I mean, but, um, but like, no, I mean, I, I don't want, I Look, I know. I you get know, it. I'm trying. I I I I, I was a very angry person growing up. Okay, <laughs> even into my teens and my twenties. No. Yes. Yes. You might be. You know. But uh, and of course, I'm trying to put on a really nice front because this is public. So you know, <laughs> you know, I don't want to t- tell all my dirty secrets. Not with the but, listeners uh, we get. Um. But uh, I, I just, you know, I tr- We look. I'm not saying we don't. We do. Yeah. No, you know, right. and there's times where I'm like. Mommy and daddy are talking. Go away. You know, like we're having adult time. Go away. You know, and slam the door. You know, and like obviously, you know, <laughs> just laying you know, there in bed, just uh, waiting, waiting for it to be over. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I've had a, those evenings. Like I, I, I look. I'm not, my wife. I got into a, a yelling match one time where my son was literally crying. You know, and I've I, done I, that. You know, no, yeah. And yeah. He's, he, he, guess what and, happened? Like I said to my room. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, well, he was in his room. He was in his room. Oh, I've done that too. Oh, absolutely. Like, he was crying, and she's like, "You're making him cry." I'm like, "You're making him cry," you know. And it, it's just, uh, you know, oh, I look back. You know, it's funny. But, but again, like, oh. uh, but just to finish my point real quick, it's there's a fine line between being a friend and being a parent, and there's certain things you have to look. You have to let them. I'm all of let them have fun. Let them let them get their hands dirty. Let them, but in the same breath. If you're going to get your hands dirty, you're cleaning up your goddamn mess, okay? Like, I, I in the morning, I leave at the back of the house because I don't want to wake anybody because I leave before everyone else. Mm-hmm. So I have a simple rule because I, I have to go exit out of the playroom, mm-hmm. okay? That goes into the backyard. Gotcha. I go, yeah. you want to keep the playroom a wreck? Fine. When your toys break, I don't give a shit. But I need four feet of circumference that I can need to <laughs> open up the door and get the hell out in the morning. I go, if I step on something and it breaks, so be it. So the other day, I stepped on the face of a doll, and I I smooched I like there's a black smudge all over. My daughter was like, "Hey," she blamed her brother. She said, "What happened to my? You stepped in." I go, "I did it." I go, "Why did I do it?" She goes, "Why did you?" Do it? And she's like, "Ain't no angry." I'm like, "Why did I do it?" And she's like, "I don't know." I go, "Guess where it was? It was in the playroom." I go, "Where in the playroom?" And she's like, in "The four foot the door." She goes by the door. I go. By the door. Are we allowed to leave anything by the door so daddy doesn't break his neck in the morning when it's dark out? And she's pissed. She's like, no. I go, I go, first off, lose that goddamn face right go. now. Good. Or I go, if I, and, and, if it, and if, if I see it again, guess what's coming off the doll? <laughs> the head. I'm like, I'm like, and she's like, she like, she grabs it close to her. Like, like, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, I told you a thousand times. Don't leave anything by the door. If I roll my ankle. On a stupid matchbox car or, or, you know, a Barbie doll, I go... I will remind you at your wedding. No, no, I go, Daddy doesn't work. Daddy's home with you all day. (laughs) I go, Daddy will pick you up from school and Daddy will get you to school. I'm like, you want to deal with Daddy? I'll make you lunch. I go, I go, and I know how much you hate tuna fish. I was like, so (laughs) so she's like, I'm like, all right, like now beat it. And I'm like, you know, but look, you know, like there's certain things I'm like, like... I, and I'm guilty of this, and I actually felt really bad. It was about six months ago. Um, my daughter, uh, she likes to. She's a daddy's girl. She likes to snuggle. I hate body heat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but um, she. What do you call it? She. Was, I was watching. I was doing. I was doing something on the computer. I might have been actually doing some show prep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was doing something on the computer, and I was kind of in. I was zoning in. Yeah. I was. I was. You know. And she kind of just like ran across the couch. I caught her in the corner of my eye, and she she kind of like what she knows she's not she's not supposed to run on the couch. Mm-hmm. Um, and she kind of plops up next to me, and like she plopped up next to me, but she was trying to snuggle with me, yeah. and 
she almost knocked my computer over. Ooh. So like, I grabbed them. I'm like, God, I'm like, Julian, really? I'm like, seriously, what, what the hell's wrong with you? And she got all upset. And my wife looked at me. She's like, that wasn't necessary. So I felt really bad. I mean, so the next time, and pretty much from that time on, like, she just wants to snuggle with me, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'll let, I'll sit there in the crook of my arm. And, you know, I'll, you know, if I'm doing something on my computer, I'll type with one hand or I'm watching TV, we'll, whatever. And then I just, whatever, I'll have a little chit chat with her, knowing that my daughter's, ex- uh, um, um, uh, bad. what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Her, um, level iPod? of iPod? No, no. Expansion, like, not expansion, uh, mind. Uh, her level of expertise? No, no, like, you know, her. Intellect? <laughs> Shut up. You can stop talking. Um, uh, her attention level. Oh, her attention span. Uh, attention span, right. Her attention span is about 10 minutes or five minutes. And literally five minutes later, she'll go, okay, I'm done with you and walk away. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's no more snuggling. So I'm like, for that five minutes, I made her day, you know? Mm-hmm. And look, I'm a, I'm a dad eight years now and I'm learning. And I know guys who are parents for 18 years and they're still learning, you know? And no one's perfect. You parent your way. Other people are going to parent their way. You only hope my 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 only hope is that I put two good human beings out there. Mm-hmm. That's all I care about. When when they're old enough and they live their own lives and they make their own decisions, they live and die by their own sword. I my only goal is to make sure that they don't become sociopaths and they do the right thing and they make the right decisions. And I have to say, the current crop of friends that we have kind of parent the same way we do. They don't. And it's like that old school parenting. Like we, mm-hmm. I, I parent like the way my my parents parented me, with certain things I've left out. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> um, like the beatings. No, but I mean, no, but uh, I mean, there's cer- there's certain things like they have. There's consequences. You don't eat your dinner. You don't get dessert. And that's another thing. I didn't have dessert every night. Yeah, honestly, growing I don't up, have dessert, I had dessert, period. Yeah, I don't remember dessert every honestly. night. I mean, it was like whatever. I mean. Um, so in her, in their minds, they oh you have to have dessert. I'm like no dessert's like you go to a restaurant and that's when you get dessert. Mm. You know? Yeah, <laughs> um, and uh, you know my daughter, you know she her thing is bedtime. She loves to stay up. She does not want to go to bed. Like she thinks she's missing something, and and I'm you know and like literally, she'll do whatever she can and 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 stretch it out as I've long as she can. Yeah. Uh, so when she's bad, her punishment is. All right, you're gonna, you're not, you know, it's like she, she, she threw something across the, uh, um, the room the other day, and she almost hit me. So I, and like, and like, it, whatever, I, it, I was just like, that, ne- that's never happening again. And she got an attitude, she caught an attitude with me. So all right, fine, you want to catch an attitude with me? I go fifteen minutes off your bedtime. Now I go twenty, and and then I go, you want to go twenty five? You know. And she got all she got all, she three weeks of tension stomped the four feet, weeks of tension stomped the feet and went into her room, and then she thought like I forgot about it, you know. And then it's like you know, her bedtime is uh, was at nine o'clock, so it was like eight forty. I'm mm-hmm. like, all right, let's go. She's like, what? I go bedtime. Are you serious? I go, yeah, I'm serious. I go, I go. What, do you think I was joking? You know, no, th- that's it. You're done. So she'd be all pissy. I go tomorrow night. We go back to nine o'clock. You know. Mm-hmm. You know, so I go, and if you give me an attitude, I, I'll make it 8.30, you know, and then it's permanent, yeah. you know, so uh, so you'll call, you're losing out. But then she'll do shit. Like, if I punished her at 8.40, like, so she goes to bed at 8.40, you know, 9.20, I'm thirsty, Ugh. you know, 9.40, I gotta go to the bathroom, 9, you know, 9, you know, 10.10, 10. my nose is, I'm like, Juliana, if I see you one more time tonight... Now you now you're in my time, yeah. you know, and especially if me and Stephanie want to, you know, have a, little, a little, have you know, relations, have, have you know, have you know, some quality time, <laughs> you know, it's like now it's like is she is she is she still up? Is she still up? she's still up? Are you freaking kidding me? She's still up. It's ten thirty, you know. Yeah. You know, so it's like, uh, um, it's it's it, it's a pain in the ass, but I'm not gonna beat my kid for that, you know, and. You know, this people look. Uh, look, this this is people are assholes. You know, and like I said, I have seen it happen. Uh, unfortunately, I've seen it happen where you know one lie could ruin a family. Um, so, all if I know you're is beat your kids and make sure that they're really good at keeping secrets. Absolutely, no scars. You know, yes, above all the hairline. Absolutely, I uh, <laughs> look. 
I all kid, I know is I, I, kid. I, I, I don't. Oh, I, I remember going to bed many a nights crying, and you know what? Oh. I was left in the room by myself crying I ab- to sleep, and I am an advocate of that. I absolutely, lo- I absolutely cried myself to sleep many a night. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like I said, I'd hyperventilate. I get yelled at again. So thank God I am not having children. Thank God you're not I having just, children. I just don't want them. I don't want that burden. I'm good. I like my sleep. I like not being annoyed. I like doing what I want to do. And it's funny you mentioned sleep because I, uh, was it last Sunday? Was it, was it, oh, no. Yeah, last Sunday. I, uh, all I want to do is sleep late. And the kids are up and, you know, we had nothing to do in the house. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, my wife leaves the door open and I'm like, can you shut the door? Can you shut the door? <laughs> and then, you know, I'm like, well, you know, I get up in the morning. I first thing I, I get out, I because I leave my clothes in the living room mm-hmm. and I, I get dressed in the living room because I don't want to wake <laughs> up because I, I can't see in the morning. It's so dark by the time when I'm up, I I have to like, you know, I need light. Mm-hmm. So I actually believe it or not. I use the light from outside. Good Lord. I open up the blinds. I use the light from outside. <laughs> and I get dressed by 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 uh, the <laughs> lamp post. No, by lamp post. <laughs> like late, a late, lately, I've been little, lately though. I've been I've been shutting her, shutting our bedroom door, and I and I I uh, I use just a lamp. So I can't. I, I I'm falling over things, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, it's like the Dick Van Dyke show. But then you know whatever, and like and then I'm like, and I said to him like, you know, I go not for nothing. I go when I have off. I said, could you shut the goddamn door when you are yelling at them to get ready for school? I go. Granted, I'm still I'm still gonna hear it. You know, it's a yeah. piece of freaking wood. I go, but at least there's a barrier. You know, between. And I'm like, I mean, she's like, sorry. I'm like, I'm like you do it every goddamn time. You know, because I have during the week I have one day off. I mean, you know, it's not like someone's doing the dishes or anything on your day off. No, that was when when Rippo. I'm fully aware of that. That's no, why. I no, he it. didn't do the dishes. Oh, he was rearranging the kitchen. Oh. The, he was the cabinets. <laughs> Okay, our old roommate, uh, the host, the co-host of uh, the Retro Gamers uh, podcast, Anthony, uh, over there, um, <laughs> we had an apartment. He was my first roommate, and it, it was I had like a Sunday off. It was like the first time I had off in like a year, and nine o'clock in the morning, he's just I hear clang, clang, bang, bang. I go, what the hell is that? Much like the drums, <laughs> he goes, oh, I'm uh, I was rearranging the kitchen cabinets. I'm like. Why? His answer, God's honest truth, they were bothering me. I'm like, and I thought I had OCD bad. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you're insane. Shut the fuck up. I'm going back to bed. I go, I don't want to hear another sound for another two hours. I was a bully, I guess. I was like, I must have, I must have been a shitty roommate. Uh, I was I, like, I, never, I wasn't there for you. I mean, we never me, teamed me and up. Birdie, so, but uh, yeah, so all right. So so much for not having anything to talk about. Yeah, today. see, we uh, we killed some time, my friend. I'm looking forward to episode. What was it? That was 18, right? I think we're at 18. Yeah. I can't wait till episode 20 because that's like magnanimous. It's it's getting there. I don't know what that word is. It's we're getting there. Uh, we'll be there in a month. <laughs> I guess episode 20 will be live. Yes, and I realized uh, my basement, my house is going to be under major construction. So uh, coming up, um, so, uh, maybe we do it from Studio A or on no, location. No, no, oh yeah, we might be, but. Uh, but in all this, she goes, oh, well, while the kitchen's getting done, we could start working on the, the, the basement walls. So when we do a live shoot, you might see, like, um, painter's tape behind us. Like, there's going to be a <laughs> – if you go back every to every video, the background is going to unfortunately <laughs> be changing because there's going to be a lot of spackling and painting going on. Um, so uh, it should be interesting. My house is going to be a goddamn disaster yeah. with this fucking kitchen. It's going to be fun. I can't be bothered. I really can't be bothered. Like I told – I said, if we don't get divorced through all this – It'll be a miracle because <laughs> we went and looked at cabinets. I didn't realize how much cabinets cost. Almost five figures. Good lord, <laughs> oh, really? You don't understand the kitchen my wife's putting into this house, okay? We it's it's we she goes, Oh, we had an appraiser come to the house today because they have the bank has to appraise yeah. your house to see how much it's worth so they know how much they could lend you. Yeah. So uh <laughs> So uh, we'll be getting the merchandise site up real quick, very yes, soon. Yes, please. Oh, and again, if you want to donate to the podcast, um, 
We're going to be working on that. Um, seriously, I actually, actually believe it or not, I am working on a a, oh. a, a, a sponsor, a local sponsor. Um, oh yes, um, I told you about that. Yeah. Uh, so look for that to come uh, again. Email us at um, the uh, better half. Uh, why do I never? <laughs> why can I never find? We're the, eighteen episodes in. We can't I get can't this remember right. Remember if the bet? I'm sorry. It's the better half pod at gmail dot com. Please. We beg you. We want to hear from you. We want your feedback. We want your. We want to know. Write us letters. If you have a question, I'll answer it. I mean, seriously. we know people are listening. People watch this. Exactly. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to give advice, but <laughs> hey, if you got a question, whether it's stupid or real, Larry and I will give you a married version and a, and a there single you go. version of it. We'll hit it. Okay, that could be a great new segment. Seriously, send us emails. Um, the better half pod at gmail dot com. Uh, you could also uh, find us on Twitter at the at Better Half Pod One. Uh, Larry, your Twitter handle is More Three Sixty Five M O H R Three Six Five. Actually, any social media you can find me with that. Yeah, and I'm there somewhere. I can't remember it again. God damn it, I'm terrible. Um, no, it's uh, is it Mess Four? No, I'm writing my name right now. Just so uh, I'm so bad at this, I'm horrible. <laughs> It's the only time we're using the computer this yeah. whole episode. Um, it's at Mess411. That was I'm close. Sorry. Yeah, right. Mess 411. And of course, the Facebook page. Yep. Um, Better head. Just search for the Better Half Podcast. Search wherever you listen to podcasts, iTunes, uh, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Amazon Alexa, YouTube. Uh, and I don't know, maybe, maybe we, uh, hopefully, if someone uh, may have some time, not a day off, but able to come in after work, we may do a giant crossover in Brooklyn. Who knows? Yes. We'll see. Yes, we're going to try and so, get that done. We'll talk about that later. Uh, check out the rest of the shows here on the More of the Same Network. Uh, the Retro Gamers every Tuesday. The Yin and the Yang podcast every Thursday. And your boys here, the better half, every other Wednesday. I don't know. Is that pretty much about it? Yeah, but again, I really do want to stress, you know, we need feedback. You know, we yeah, we, we do because we, we love ourselves. We love so. ourselves, but we want to hear from you guys. And look, we know you're listening. We you, you've 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 messaged us on YouTube. You've commented on YouTube. Send us an email. Send us a shout out. We'll talk about you. And again, if you want to donate, whether it's five dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, you can sponsor the show for a sponsor day. Sponsor the show. We will we will dedicate that <laughs> show that episode to you. Um, That's a and, lot of potato. No, I'm I'm being dead serious here. Okay. If you want this to continue, we <laughs> no, no, I'm not threatening. If you want to listen, this stuff, the bandwidth, the things, this stuff costs money. It does. It truly does. Okay. Storage fees are adding up. Okay, and you know, our good looks are not gonna are not gonna do it alone. <laughs> um, but seriously, any way you want to contribute, you know, we will, we will, we will take care of you. I'll sing you a goddamn song if I have to with your name in it, and I'm good at that because I drive the people at work. All the time, I may have to contribute that. I, I I'll make you. A, I'll write you a song. I, people, songs come on at work on the radio, and the guy next to me hates me because I constantly put his name into the song. You oh, know, his name. His name. At the guy next to me, his name's Camacho. Ooh. Okay, his last name. So he. Uh, what's the song? It's like. You know, Camacho, no, no, Camacho. yeah, exactly. Okay, first I'll go Camacho, Camacho man. You know, I hate working next to Camacho man. <laughs> like, and he's like, he's like, he, I, I, I like, and I'll just, I'll rip him a new one every single time a song comes on. Um, but like, I'll, I'll sing you a song. God damn it, you know, give me, give me twenty bucks and I'll sing you a song. Like, I, like, like a trained monkey. I will be your trained monkey. Okay. Oh, we had no guest this week. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe uh maybe next week uh next show we we're trying to get our friend uh Fred Cosby um no, no relation no relation to uh um show tell us about his latest uh trip. Oh. I think it might have been to the zoo or to the amusement park. So <laughs> him do? and his wife Camille from what I heard. Poor Camille. Camille. 